Okay. Nope. Um, so what does it mean to you guys to be performing for FFH? Well, when we got the call for the show, I think the three of us were, it's one of our most exciting shows of the year, mainly because not only are we big, big fans of the FFA, but it's like all of countrydom, the kingdom of country is under one roof tonight. Um, and it's really, really exciting just to see fans that we've gotten to meet really all over the country. Uh, we got to meet a lot of them today in person, which is fun. And, you know, it's the FFA is a great organization, too, because, you know, they help young people grow up to be, you know, leaders and, and better themselves, too. And our drummer actually was part of the yes, FFA. Yes, we just found out about And him. he turned out really well, so yeah. I, I, think, I think it's a good sign for everybody He's else. He's a good team player. Mm -hmm. um, and can you talk a little bit about the importance of working as a team? Well, we know that well. Cause we, we are a family. We've had to do that, well, really ever since we were born. Uh, but with music, we are about to celebrate 14 years mm -hmm. traveling together as a family. And so, um, you know, for us, it's all about having each other's back and supporting each other because we all certainly have our specific strengths but also weaknesses. And it's nice to have, you know, the other two in our group there to help pick up the slack on, on the weekdays. And uh, we kind of say we're kind of like the Avengers, you know. When somebody opposes one of us, the three of us are there to support. And that really, you know, is what a team mm -hmm. is about. It's having your, your mm -hmm. fellow man's back. But there is like. a lot of back and forth. You know, we feel like a lot of discussion and uh, disagreement does get to the best possible answer as well. So, you know, uh, being siblings, though, it is easy to kind of cut through the chase and get right to the point as well. Um, and what motivates you guys as far as, I mean, you guys obviously have been working for a really long time, and I know you had a band even before yes. you guys joined in, so obviously you guys have been in the music industry for really long time and are going strong so what keeps you motivated I'm sure I think stick to itiveness has been one of our best friends you know just perseverance and outlasting the process because I think whether you're in the music business uh, getting through school going through college in any line of work really it's about just outlasting the, the bumps in the road and um, continuing to plug forward and I think goals also uh, push us forward too you know whether it was at the beginning getting a record deal then getting the album done then playing the Grand Ole Opry and then you know so on so I think goals have also really pushed us yeah, the too. three of us are really competitive not necessarily with each other but with ourselves mm -hmm. and so Neil's right yeah always setting another lofty goal kind of helps us put one foot in front of the other one more question because I yeah, guess no, you're, fine. you're good. Are, are busy. Um, what considering the rally for hunger, um, sorry, what motivated you and how did you guys get involved with um, Outnumber Hunger? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it was something that uh, we were uh, really passionate about, and what we like about Aunt Number Hunger is that it helps local uh, local food banks as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not just a uh, just a national stockpile that you know you don't necessarily see the effects of it. Whenever you help out with Aunt Number Hunger, it really does help out where you live on the local level. Yeah. And that's what we were excited about. I had no idea before we got to visit our local Nashville food bank that one out of six Americans struggle with hunger. That was a huge number. I was totally um, shocked to hear that and so especially um, we're not in the summer months right now but a lot of these food banks stock up for the summer because kids don't have meals yeah. in mm -hmm. school and that sort of thing and so they really target um, you know, trying to, to beef up that side of things and like Reed said it's just so cool to know that uh, you can help out on a local level because yeah. a lot of charities deal with um, you know the national spotlight and that sort of thing but Outnumber Hunger is really unique in that way. You guys are the best. Thank you. 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 Thank you.